Hey everybody, so today I thought we'd do something a little different. Uh, so rather than a day of eating, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, a question that I get asked all the time. Um, and first, before I get into it, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about just because I got some new subscribers and some new people watching the videos. So just to let you know a little bit about myself. Um, so I've been doing keto for about almost seven years. It's been seven years in October. Um, and the reason I started doing it was because I went to the doctors. I've been going for a while, right? You know, getting older, you go every every year, every six months or so. I was going for my physical and the doctor telling me, you know, <clears throat> you're, you're diabetic and you high blood pressure and you have a kind of a choice. You have a choice. You can either um, start taking medication or you can change the way you live your life and he suggested that i try to check out the keto diet he's kind of more of a mediterranean type of a diet person so he said the keto mediterranean realm of it so i said okay i'm gonna try it and uh here i am almost seven years later my diabetes is gone my high blood pressure is gone um take no medication whatsoever other than the supplements that I take. And if you're interested in those, let me know. I'll show you what those are sometime as well. And we'll kind of go through why I take those, those particular ones. Um, and yeah, so I've kind of learned a lot. Um, I've take off the 65 pounds. I kind of have held it there. Um, this is the first time in my life I've ever been able to lose weight and keep it off for any length of time. Usually I lose weight. And then once I <laughs> kind of hit the bottom, I kind of start going back up, right? So done that a couple, bunch of times, um, gotten healthy, gotten physically fit, and then kind of get back. So anyway, um, so it's kind of some of my backstory, a little bit about me. Um, and again, you know, if there's anything I can do to help you and make suggestions, again, I'm no doctor or nutritionist or anything else, um, but I can give you ideas, suggestions about how I've done this and how I've been successful at maintaining it for so long. So, um, so if I do, I also have a webpage out there that's Alan Awesome Keto World dot com so go over there and check that out uh, as well it has a lot of recipes on it um, as well as if you're interested in contacting me direct you can contact me through that through that web page as well so um, pretty cool stuff um, anyway so I want to talk a little bit about because it's probably the one of the questions that right especially right now um, when I say oh yeah I'm doing keto or I've been doing keto for a long time the first thing everybody says is you know, how can you do keto and afford to do keto in this environment today with the prices the way they are and everything being so expensive? So I thought I'd kind of go back through and I'll kind of talk about the five things that I do to help try to control my cost on groceries and my food bill and then possibly give you a bonus one or two at the very end if you stick around to the end, which I thought you might like. Um, so the first one I'm going to talk a little bit about is... Um, <clears throat> just sale flyers, right? So we go through our sale flyers. They come out on Tuesday. Um, and usually most grocery stores go from Wednesday to the following next Tuesday. So they come out Tuesday late in the afternoon. They do a preview. And of course they start on Wednesday morning. So generally we have uh, all the grocery stores that we have. And we're really lucky. We actually have five grocery stores. I have one that's in Publix, which is right down here. It's actually attached to our community. So you don't even, even need to go out of the community to go to it. Um, a lot of the golf carts, a lot of the folks from the community go down there in their golf carts and do their grocery shopping in their golf carts here. <laughs> so, uh, um, hey, I guess it saves you money on gas. Um, so it's really close, really convenient. Um, and then right after that, there's a food line right around the corner from that. Right down the street from that, there is a, uh, a Lowe's grocery store. And then <clears throat> up the street from us, there is a Kruger's grocery store as well. And right around the corner from that, there's an Aldi's as well. <clears throat> So there's a lot of food options here. So first thing that we do on that Tuesday and Wednesday morning is we start going through the sale flyers. And we start looking at all the sale flyers and based on what they have on the sale flyers, we kind of decide where we're going and what we're looking for. So again, I'll give you an example of that was that uh, Kruger's, not Kruger's, um, Food Lion was having uh, chicken thighs and chicken drumsticks for 99 cents a pound. So good deal. So we go down, we'll get some of those, we'll put them, some in the freezer, we'll cook some, um, and then we'll do our meal, meal planning during the week for that, because that's gonna be the, uh, the major um, food for the week, right? So one of the major foods for the week. We'll have that for two or three of the meals. Um, again, for 99 cents a pound, you get one of those packages. There's eight in a package, I believe. There's my wife and I, we can get four meals out of that. Uh, again, so if it's 
<clears throat> if it's 10 bucks worth of meat, um, you know, four meals, you're talking $2 for just the meat on it. So pretty cheap, good way to go. Same with the drumsticks. You're only going to eat three or four of them, you know, and, and a package of it will really, will, for us, it'll get four meals. So it's a couple dollars per meal. So it's a, it's a good way to do it. And then, of course, looking at the other things that we use, like the frozen vegetables and um, fresh vegetables, the berries, and different things that we buy all the time, kind of looking at it. And that decides where we're going to go. <clears throat> Sometimes it may have us go to multiples. Um, again, um, we went to multiples because of the fact that, I believe it was Publix was had, they had um, prime rib steaks on sale for uh, $8.99 a pound. Um, and then we went somewhere else for some other meat as well. So... <clears throat> but but public is so close that we can stop there. It's on our way no matter where we're going out. So we go right by it. So um, and the second thing that we do now is we usually use the digital coupons as well. So we go in and we we look at each of the stores. Each of them has digital coupons that they issue for the week. A lot of times those coupons are good for the month. So the things that we're re buying, buying such as I know this week Publix actually had a digital coupon for uh, the ratio yogurt that I eat. So I click on that. So when I stop in there and I get some, it will save me a couple bucks on the yogurt. So I really look at those coupons as well. And there's also some other coupons that you can go look at as well. Um, in the Ibotta app and some of the other apps, you can go in and have some digital coupons from the manufacturers that you can get. Kind of like the old Sunday papers. I don't get a Sunday paper um, here, but you know, you can all clip the coupons it does help, right? So every penny helps, right? So if I can save $10 uh, using the digital coupons, you know, it's a good thing. Another thing that I do is there's an app out there called Flip. Um, um, and we use that a lot. So when we are looking for something this week and we want to, <clears throat> like a holiday coming up and we start looking for something, we can actually go in there and we can search it. So we can say, hey, ribeye steaks, you know, and we can watch over the next couple of weeks and see who has ribeye steaks that go on sale and what the cost is. And we also, it's an easy way to compare stores. So they have them on multiple stores. Uh, you can see whether they have it cheaper at Kruger's or a Publix or a Food Lion or, or a Lowe's. Or... So it's an easy way to compare them and to kind of look at them. So the Flip app is pretty convenient for doing that kind of stuff. You can also look at the price of eggs in different places. Um, and that kind of stuff like that there, right? Um, and also, the fourth thing that we do is we also stock up on these deals when we find them. Much like the chicken, we had bought, um, it comes in a family pack. So we bought <coughs> four family packs. Um, we use one for cooking for the week um, out of the, for the four meals. And then we froze the rest of them and we'll pull those out, you know, over the course of the next couple weeks as we need them. So <coughs> we don't fill our freezer like we used to. Um, just because, you know, we don't want to spend too much. Um, but we are stacking those deals. The ribeye steaks, when they had them on sale, we bought extras and put them in the freezer. Um, and even ground beef. We found ground beef for $3.99 a pound for the 80-20. Um, we took that. They were big family packages. They were three-pound packages. So we bought a couple of extra ones besides the one that we had. Uh, and we'll bring them out over the course of the next few weeks, right? So we have them for a while. Um... The fifth thing I would say is probably something to look at is is subscriptions to stores like Costco. We're actually thinking about like Costco membership that we have. Um, we actually have a, with an executive membership. It's 130 bucks a year. Um, you get money back from it, but you need to spend over three thousand dollars a year to get enough money to pay for that extra 65 bucks that you pay. Uh, and we don't do that. We don't we don't hit that. So we end up getting 30 or 40 dollars back. So it's costing us money to have that extra subscription. So really look to see whether it's really making sense to do that. So we're going to take that membership and we're going to drop it down to a regular membership, which is only $65 a year, um, and do that. And then we can still get the things that we want to get, but uh, we're not, not paying extra money just for nothing. So kind of look at those things. You know, Or do you have multiples? Do you have one for Costco, one for Sam's, one for BJ's? One for something else. I know, like all these is just having their they're they're having a, a, a kind of some kind of subscription thing to it now as well. You know, are you really saving money on those? Because um, we found that when we started really looking at the prices, we can get stuff cheaper on the sales, like the ground beef and the ribeye, than we can at uh, and we can at Costco. So we we don't shop as much at Costco as we used to. 
Um, we used to go there a lot every month, and now it's like once a quarter. Um, matter of fact, we haven't been there since I think May right now. Um, the gas prices in California at Costco was a lot cheaper than the normal prices. Here, uh, the gas prices at Costco actually are about the same or a little bit more than I can get at some of the Circle K's or, or the Kruger's here because the gas prices are so much cheaper here. So. so it's not a real big savings for me on those fronts, so it's not really worthwhile to go out of my way there. <clears throat> Costco here is you know, 20 or 30 minute ride from here, so it's a little bit out of my way. So, um, But then again, they have some really good stuff. They do like the almond flowers and some of the stuff that I use for uh, keto baking and stuff like that. And it's generally cheaper there than it is if I buy it online <clears throat> through Amazon or in the store here. So so there's some, some savings there. So we do the regular membership and then we'll just do get the things that we want, right? Uh, um, <clears throat> so that's kind of the five things that I have. Um, you know, that, that I would talk about really that uh, really helps us save a lot on our groceries. And it probably cuts our grocery bill by 30 to 50% by doing it that way and, and creating, like I say, when we do the sale flyer, or create a menu for the week and what we're going to eat and, and everything else. And it really helps us save money and really do some planning around that there. We're not just buying groceries for the sake of buying groceries. So it really helps us save a lot of money doing that. So um, the bonus one I would uh, throw out there is to, to start looking at the small stores like the Dollar Store or the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General. Um, also CVS and Walgreens with the coupons, they actually have some really good deals. So start looking at some of those places. Um, we used to go to the 99 cent store in California all the time and <clears throat> get some things there because um, it was really convenient to our home. Here, not so much, but when we were at Food Lion, right next door, there's a Dollar Tree, and uh, you can go in there and you can pick up some pretty good things. Again, you're not going to do a grocery shop in there, but you know, you can get eggs cheaper, or if you can get broccoli cheaper, or frozen vegetables cheaper, um, or something in can that you're going to use, then it's worth your while. If it's not, not too far out of your way, just stopping in and picking those things up. And you can find some pretty good things in some of the stores, right? Um, and then the, the next bonus one, I'll give you two a sec, second bonus one um, as well, um, is just to kind of look at some of the store brands. Um, a lot of the store brands are, are better than I think than the store, than, than the, um, the national brands. Um, so we use some of the store brands, like some of the frozen vegetables are just as good as the store brand. The store brand one is just as good as the national one. So, um, so some of those things, kind of look at them and see whether the, the store brand's an option. And sometimes it's not. Sometimes you don't like the store brand and you want to stick with the national brand. Um, there's a few things out there that I would prefer to buy a, the brand versus a store brand. So, um, But take a look at them and try it. Give them a try. Um, you know, if you don't like them, then you don't have to buy them again. So, um, But those are the kind of the things that we do on a regular basis and like i say with the dollar store the dollar store down here they actually had the uh, the bird's eye frozen vegetables and they actually had them 50 cents a package they're like 329 or something like that at kruger's um, and and the other stores are about the same price so it was about almost not quite half price but pretty close to half price if you buy them at the dollar tree store where right down here by our house so um so give those a chance so hey you know, hopefully you like the content. Hopefully it's something different, something to talk about. Um, hopefully you're willing to, to, to kind of look at this. Let me know if you use any of these techniques or if you have something else that helps you save money. Let me know down in, in, um, <clears throat> in the comments. Um, also go over there and check out Alan's Awesome Keto World. Hey, if there's anything I can help you with, let me know. Um, again, um, I've been kind of thinking about, you know, I was talked about getting my nutritional license before to, to help people doing coaching and stuff like that and I haven't done it and I'm not sure whether it's worthwhile it's expensive to do and I'm not sure whether people would actually use my services or not so if that's something that you would think would be cool and you know you may be able to you know you wanted to, to talk or something like that there that that'd be for somebody that you would talk to let me know down in the comments down below that too as well so maybe it'll jolt me into uh to spending some of my spare time studying and uh, getting my nutritional license. So, hey, you guys are awesome. You guys are great. Um, thank you. I uh, thought this was just something a little different. Um, so kind of let's check it out and, you know, thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell icon, 
You guys are awesome. Um, you know, I'll see you in the next one.